back here. And when I said I got the house and bought the house, I told you they gave me an opportunity and an offer I couldn't refuse. That was actually dope. So it actually, you know, put me in a position of do I stay or do I go? Do I rent? Do I own? They put it all in one package. So let me help you guys out real quick, man. Everybody, all you gotta do is Google rent to own, right? You can rent rent to own. You can Google lease to own. Now for me. I didn't know I wanted to live here. I, like I said, initially I wanted to rent this home, but they gave me the opportunity to do a rent to own. So you basically written the couch to own it. You pay a little bit more in the beginning for the bigger deposit. At the end of your first year lease or your first year rental agreement, it turns to an ownership situation. So basically you rent to own is still considered you're gonna own the property if you want to. So that's the proposition I was presented, and that's what I accepted because I was like, it kills two birds with one stone. Also, it's good for taxes to write off different things. And as you know about rent and only it's two different things, how you do taxes when you got big money. So it's hard to explain, but if you got a CPA, you do you or they help you out with that shit. So when it came to me, this was a better situation for me. That's what I did. So all this Googling and all this, I got you know, For one, let me help you guys out with something too. You know, talking about people that's no one here. The guy that I had the partnership with, he actually passed away. So RP, he was a cool guy. Y'all actually being very disrespectful for bringing up people names I don't know about. But that what you want to do, that's on you. God bless y'all, y'all pal. So RP to him. And 